Hi and welcome. This is Greg Justice with Scripter Publishing Group. And today my special guest is Doug Briggs. And Doug is an award-winning sports specialist, human performance executive with an entrepreneurial flair in designing, developing, and implementing strength and conditioning programs. He is currently the Director of Human Performance and Civilian Employee Fitness for the United States Army. So Doug, thank you so much for being with me today to talk about the legacy of Jack LaLanne. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, I like to begin these interviews by asking my guests about the first time they encountered Jack LaLanne, the first time they met him, how it impacted and influenced your business, your career, and your life. Okay. Well, the very first time I met Jack LaLanne was October 5th of 2001 in El Paso, Texas, when he was here for a senior citizens convention. I think he was probably about 86 years old at the time. And myself and four of my friends were actually eating at a cafe uh, downtown, a little restaurant called Cafe Central in the skyscrapers downtown in El Paso, close to the Civic Center. And we were sitting on the outdoor patio. It was a beautiful October evening here in October. And I happened to see Mr. LaLanne walk by the railing uh, that goes around the patio. And I kind of sort of yelled out, hey, Mr. LaLanne. He stopped, he looked around, and then he came back in the restaurant and came over to our table. And he started looking at our food and he was pointing at our food going, good, 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 bad, you know, <laughs> bad food and stuff like that. And he uh, continued to uh, impress us by just doing his conversation. So we spent about 15, 20 minutes talking to him. Wow. And I remember him shaking his hands and he shook our hands. He shook my hand so hard he could have broke my hand if he really wanted to at 86 years old. Wow. And he just uh, continued to talk about the senior citizen convention the next day and everything. He asked us if we were going to it. And you know, honestly, at that time, really didn't have any plans of going to it. Uh, but he invited us to go. And when I got home that evening, and I promised him I would go the next day. When I got home that evening, I called my mom. We lived in Las Cruces, New Mexico at the time and told her about Jack LaLanne. She used to do exercises to Jack LaLanne every morning um, religiously. And that was in 1962 when we lived in Hawaii when my dad was stationed there in the Navy. And I remember her doing just, you know, everything with chairs, walls, pretty much anything you can think of that Jack Lane did, she did with it. And that was my first exposure to him, was him being my first personal trainer, right. because she'd always include the exercise with him. So anyway, I told her she was very excited. And we went to the convention center the next afternoon. I think it was about one o'clock in the afternoon. We listened to Jack talk about uh, healthy living and juicing and just, you know, all about your body and nutrition, just everything Jack talked about. And then um, as a part of the convention, they had an oldest person's contest there. Who was the oldest person there? And my mom ended up being the oldest person there, 92 years of age. And we were one of free dinner for four to uh, Los Panditos, Carlos y Mickey's, a real famous restaurant here in El Paso. Just had a lot of presidents, politicians, people like that go through. And uh, we took some pictures with Jack, talked to him some more. Him and uh, Mrs. Lelaine also, Elaine was there. Mm -hmm doing the same thing moving with Jack and everything. And you know, it was an absolutely blessed experience. And I guess he's he, I guess he really influenced my life in a lot of ways. My mom primarily influenced me because she was very much into healthy living. And I think she got a lot of that through Jack Elaine, although she was that way also all of her life. And so I kind of grew up with Jack Elaine with her exercising to him and the diet and nutrition advice he had just kind of followed him my whole career. Everything from when he had Jack Lane Health Club, just mm -hmm. whole nine yards of Jack, just an outstanding individual. And now you were in the Army at that point, correct? You were in 2001, you were in the Army. At that point, I was actually a uh, professor at New Mexico State University. Okay. So I had okay. not come over to the U.S. Army. So I was, I was a professor at New Mexico State University. Okay. And I, I was in the Department of Human Performance, so I taught motor development, human anatomy, strength conditioning, weight training, nutrition, all those kind of classes associated with human performance. Okay, okay. So let me ask you this then about when you talk about the influence that Jack had and how it impacted you. Um, now, that meeting was, whoops. 
<laughs> we had a little glitch there. We, we lost you there for a minute, Doug. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Very good. Okay, so we had a little, a little glitch in the uh, interview, but that's okay. We'll pick right up where we uh, left off. So uh, Doug was sharing with us the story of his first encounter with Jack, um, uh, and it was at a, a convention. And let me just kind of uh, flow right into the next question, Doug. And um, are, are there any other stories um, about Jack, uh, either personally that you had or stories that you heard about Jack that you would like to share with us? Oh, my God. Of course, there's all the stories of his strengths of feet, and every, uh, feats of strength and everything that I recorded, you know, always followed and all that. Uh, another one was I wrote a book called 16 Weeks to Weight Training Success for Men and Women. Mm -hmm. And I happened to send him a copy of it. And that had been back about 2000 and probably five or six after the first time I met him. And he wrote me a very nice letter back telling me he really liked the book and everything and hoped I continue to write more books and, you know, that kind of thing like that, too. A very, very nice letter. That's very I cool. Got the yeah, I, that's one to frame, isn't it? <laughs> That's a great it story. Is the most yeah. Well, let me ask you this about uh, Jack and his legacy. Now, obviously, within our industry, within the fitness industry, his legacy as the godfather of fitness uh, is evident. But to you, what is Jack LaLanne's legacy, both inside our industry and, you know, to the world? I, uh... Jack was definitely a fitness visionary. Uh, he had a real vision for the future as far as fitness and where people need to be, as far as exercise and nutrition that, you know, most people don't follow these days. And, you know, we, re we see that results of that all the time and statistics on health and obesity and different that. Uh, very much an innovator through the equipment he designed and also, you know, his idea of having the first health clubs and just all the kind of things he did along those lines. So, without a doubt, he was an innovator. And uh, thirdly on that, I would have to say I would call him a gentleman. He's always a real gentleman, just very polite, very pleasant to be around, very motivational, just an outstanding individual. I think one of my favorite stories is how he competed against Arnold Schwarzenegger in a bodybuilding contest when Arnold was 21, and he was 54 years old, and he beat Arnold at 54. <laughs> And I'll bet he never let Arnold forget that. I'll bet he didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. That is terrific. Um, well, as we wrap up this interview, Doug, let me ask you if you were to if you were to describe Jack Lalane in three words, what would those three words be and why? Okay, I think I'd go back to the fitness visionary, mm -hmm. and I would also do the innovator. And the gentleman. I think those are the three strongest words I could probably give you. Actually, four words, but three phrases I could actually give you for uh, Jack Lelay, because Very he truly good. was. He was way ahead of his time. And you know, the other thing I really liked about Jack Lelane is he didn't just talk the talk. You know, he he walked it. He really did live it. He was the living proof of what you could do if you took care of yourself and you kept yourself healthy. I mean, the body. From my background perspective, what I do and everything, the body was meant to move, and that's what we see so little of with people anymore is they don't move. Our bodies were meant to move. Like he says, you know, you don't move the body to rust, so, you know, would you rather rust out or would you rather wear out? And it's really true. That's, yeah. you couldn't put it any better. And he hit the nail on the head on nutrition, too, when he said, you know, uh, the food that we eat today is, will be walking and talking tomorrow. That's It's so true. You know, that's the main that is our main hormone is the food that we eat today and how it impacts our body tomorrow.